how to create a free landing page with Canva 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be creating a free landing page with Canva in 2023 in the easiest, most simplest ways possible. So to allow yourselves to do this, basically what you're going to start off by doing is we're going to go ahead into our Canva and we're actually going to establish what type of, you know, uh, landing page do we actually require, you know, because there's different types of landing pages. There could be product landing pages or could be, you know, just landing pages to gain, uh, you know, audiences and all. So obviously we're going to want to have to make sure to get our head beyond that. So let's say I'm going to come here. Uh, let's say I have a shoe store. Okay. I'm going to write landing page for shoe store. Okay. I'm going to add that. And let's see what kind of images it gives us. So look at this. These are the type of landing pages it gives for shoe stores. And that is exactly the type of look I want to go for. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over to Canva. And over here in the template section, we're going to go ahead and write landing. It's going to give us landing page. There we go. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go straight into the landing page editorial. And once you come over here, as you can see, it gives us different designs for landing pages. And, you know, a lot of them look pretty incredible. So let's say I want to go with this one. You know, this looks like a pretty well used landing page. I'm going to go ahead, click on customize with this template. And once you click on customize with this template, it brings you here. So first of all, first and foremost, what you're going to do is if it's a shoe thing, so we're going to delete this, you know, fashion stuff. You can keep the vibe of it, but obviously for a shoe website, we're going to go ahead. Like, let's say I'm going to create an implication of Nike. Okay. I'm going to write Nike over here. Then uh, I have a few things that I can upload in this. So let's say I'm going to come over here. Uh, I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to copy a few things and I'm going to paste it into the design. So uh, we're going to go, you know what? I'll just upload it. Yeah, we're going to come to uploads over here. I'll just upload the files from the widgets I have over here. So you're going to scroll down. Uh, I have this Nike swoosh over here. I'm going to upload it. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we're going to click on it and there we are. So just make sure to tone that down and you just adjust it over here. So there we go, Nike. And there we have the Nike's uh, symbol sign. Then you can start adding like, let's say Nike Air Blast. You know, let's say these are the new shoes. You can start adding details about them over here. Because, you know, it's a basic landing page that's going to gain you followers. So obviously a landing page shouldn't essentially have a shop now button, but it could have a redirect button, which you can change to. So you can say check out now, you know, you can add that. And uh, obviously if it's not coming into the limit, you can just take the font size down and everything should work out fine. So I'm going to choose all that and come to the font size. And there we go. So check out now. I'm just going to, yeah, there we go. Now, once you've done that, uh, you can uh, upload different files for yourself as well. So let's say I'm going to scroll down. Let's go with, you know, one of these shoes over here. So let's say I have these ones. So I'm going to upload these images over here. And once you do that, you're basically going to make the shoe float somewhere over here. Now, obviously, this clearly looks like someone uploaded a photo. So you're not exactly going to go with that. Basically, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to come to remove.bg to remove the background off of this image totally for free. Yes, that is possible. And this is exactly how we're going to do it. So we're going to click on upload image, choose the image. So I'm going to choose two of these images. Okay, that's one image. Yeah. So once you do this, as you can see, we're going to add that image and it's going to remove the background first. So I'm going to click on download, come over here. And now we're going to import this straight into our design. So there you go. And now you have a shoe. And you can basically, you know, add it like this as well, you know, because Nike likes to add it in a cool way, like it's floating. And uh, you can obviously add shadows to this design. You can go and edit photos. You know, you can make it look more cooler. Uh, turn on magic edit if you want to remove or something. Uh, then moving on, you know, add shadows into it through effect. So I'm going to go into shadows. You can, you know, add some drop shadow into it. So let's say I'm going to add this drop shadow. It could be a glowing shadow. It could be an outline. I'm going to just add a drop shadow. And you're going to choose the blur amount. You know, how much blurred shadow you want to go with. Choose the distance. You know, that much distance should work fine. 
and then you're just going to choose your size and once you do that obviously make sure you don't blend in the design because it usually always does that but yeah once you've gone with that you know increase the size or you can just keep it normally like a normal design there we go and once you do that just keep it here there you go nike air blast you know check out now you can check it out using that and this is obviously you know a lookout for your landing page and once you've created this landing page for yourself you can uh, add more widgets and designs because obviously for a shoe store you know this is pretty minimalist design so you can add different um, things in the background you can add different colorings and textiles like let's say you can also change the color scheme of your whole design like let's say we just want to go with some uh, nice light colors right so you can go with uh, a green you can go with a yellow you know, we even go with a nice little gradient, you know, so let's say I'm going to go with a nice little, you know, Nike is mostly orange and white, right? So I'm going to go with this and I'm going to change all the text of, um, you know, all the font of the text to white, you know, because the Nike symbol is usually just orange and white and uh, it would be, it would make sense. So, yeah. And then moving on, obviously you don't, I'm just essentially giving you an example. You don't necessarily want to just go ahead and make a logo or symbol like Nike. You know, this is just for example purposes. And I'm just going to come here. I'm going to make the swoosh white as well. You're probably wondering how will we make the swoosh white. Trust me, it's a piece of cake. Or you can even keep the swoosh dark. That depends on you. I'm going to keep the swoosh here. There we go. So yeah, basically that is how you can edit more and more into the design. You can choose the color of this black box as well, make it white, and then there's the text in it, okay? You can make the text dark. So just come here. There we go. The text is dark now. So, you know, that's how you can add more creativity into the design, make it look much better, make it look more, uh, you know, chic, make it look nicer. And once you're done with your design, you're finally going to click on share. Once you click on share, you're going to choose the file you want to, or the format you want to download it in. Let's say I want to download it in a uh, PNG. So I'm going to choose the PNG standard, or you can go with any, you know, PDF style print. I'm going to go with PNG, click on download. And once we click on download, it starts downloading the design. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that. And there we go. So now we're going to actually go ahead and choose and see the design and look at that. So looks pretty nice. looks pretty incredible. and looks like a proper landing page with proper things. So, you know, you get the common gist of it. So yeah, basically that is how you can create a landing page using Canva in the easiest, most simplest ways possible. So that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Until then, that was all from me. Thank you for watching this video fully till the end and I will see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.